what's up YouTube I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna go over four different things I ordered off Team Mule that I think will fit any type of automotive enthusiast now if you never heard of Team Mule it's just like Aliexpress or Alibaba all these other Chinese websites where they sell ridiculously cheap stuff and with these four different things I got I tried to keep it around $50 but if you ever chopped on one of these sites before the prices fluctuate they go up they go down they offer coupons they do all these different things but you should be able to get all four of these things for about 50 bucks now instead of me just ordering some bs i actually ordered things that i think should be good these four different things i don't have that i thought would be kind of cool to have and plus you can get it so cheap and hopefully in theory it should work so without further ado let me go ahead and start with the first thing i ordered all right so the first thing i ordered is this phone selfie stick reason being every car got like taking pictures of their cars let's be real and i never had one and i use my phone often for taking pictures or even sometimes for my youtube channel and i figured with this i can get a little bit better angles get up get low without having to bend over and it was super cheap i think it was like 10 bucks so i'm gonna go ahead and crack it open we got a button on at the bottom it's a tripod it rotates it should basically do everything like you would want it to do in theory so taking it out this plastic i think it's all metal too and this do not feel like metal so upon first glance, um, it don't look terrible. I don't know if it said it was all metal online. Speaking of which, some of these products will be discontinued out of nowhere, but it's very similar items that you can find for basically the same price on there. So the links that I'm gonna put in the, the description, they might go away over time. Just search the website and I promise you will find the same thing. A lot of stuff is just being resold over and over and over. But anyway, so it should be able to extend. So this is like the max length right there. I think that's pretty good, that's tall. Um, I have no specs on none of this stuff. So I literally just ordered this stuff. So there's a knob at the top to like, I guess, tighten it so it doesn't rotate no more and it literally just extends you could turn it I believe I'm gonna just go ahead and put my phone on this and give it a try oh I forgot this tripod too I didn't even try to extend the legs out by the way this stuff took like a week to come the packaging was a little like, suspicious I had to open the packaging to make sure everything was in there but everything did come within a week so that's good for you know this type of stuff <laughs> so there it is sitting down it seemed like it's gonna work fine I, I really don't see a problem with it and I'm gonna see what I can make with this tripod all right and there you go y'all on this stick right now and I ain't gonna lie that do look pretty cool I normally don't film like this but this gives you the ability to change your videos up or change your photos up however you want to do it and it's working pretty good it literally just clamps on your phone so even with a case you can use it all right so here's the rear camera of my phone by the way this is an iPhone 14 Pro I can't see how I look because obviously See, I'm shooting with the rear but y'all let me know in the comments below do y'all think this look good I also wanted to get the ultra wide view using this pole because that honestly should look crazy I wonder can you see my feet I don't know <laughs> all right so y'all let me know how that look I also took some pictures and in my opinion this thing is decent it's nothing spectacular don't expect anything spectacular one thing I noticed right off the rip was it wobbles like the more you extend it the more it wobbles so that's something you have to keep in mind especially if you're recording video you're just gonna be walking this side to side and shit so that's something to keep in mind but other than that it do seem pretty good as i was taking videos and photos like my mind was racing up like all the creative things i can do with this i even hooked up the button which is pretty simple you just hold the capture button for three seconds it turns on go to your bluetooth settings and then it comes up as selfie so that was pretty simple how about this i'm gonna rate all four items one out of five and with this i'm gonna have to give it maybe a three I think a three is solid. The big thing that's taking stars away is just the wobbleness. Like I say, it's okay for pictures, but in video, especially if you're walking, then you have to keep that in mind and like try to keep your hand steady to keep it not to wobble as much. And then hopefully your phone got some good stabilization. So just basically just cancel it all out. So on to the next thing. All right, so the next thing I ordered is this LED. Let me just read what it say, all perspectives induction headlamp usb rechargeable and sensor so what this basically is it's just a headlight i've seen other youtubers wear um headlamps like this and i always thought it was pretty cool they looked super bright I and mean, this one was really cheap i don't even remember how much it costs let me check and see and it comes with two which is i didn't even pay attention to that when i was buying it, it comes with two for ten dollars 98 cents so we gonna see if they're good i mean that one would be five bucks if you can I'm pretty sure the people I've seen pay way more than five dollars for this, so let's see how it how it works. So taking it out the packaging, I don't even know what these are for, but okay. <laughs> I think these are yeah, these are actually the lights right here. All right, first impressions. This feels extremely cheap. <laughs> this feels really cheap. 
Yeah, let me just take the second out the box. So it literally just comes with two. I wonder why would it want it, why would it come with two? There's a second one. So I guess maybe you can charge one and use the other one and just keep switching. Maybe. I mean that's not a bad thing to come with two. I'm just it's just strange. Like what's what's the point? Let me see if it got some juice in it. Ooh, damn, that is bright as hell. Oh wow. What is this button for? Wait a minute. I'll, let me see what this button's for. Oh, the sensor. Oh, the sense. Oh, this turns it on. Oh, shit. This is nice. I'm put this on my head. Hey, I gotta tighten it up. My head ain't that big. All right, so I think you're supposed to take this off to tighten it. I'm sweaty as hell, too. I'm outside in the garage. I figured it was appropriate to do this in the garage because it's car stuff. So, <laughs> you know, but it's hot. All right, so I tighten it up. Uh, that should be good enough just to see. Yo, this thing is pretty nice. It feels pretty nice. It's really not heavy. The sensor is going crazy. That might not that might not work out too good. Here, let me look at some stuff. Let me see if it's bright or not. All right, I'm actually using a selfie stick to record this. I'm gonna close my garage. It's still light outside, but I'm gonna close it. And hopefully it dims it down. All right, now I'm gonna turn these lights off. Uh, turn my full film light off over here. Hey, this I can get used to the little selfie stick thing. I ain't gonna lie. All right, last thing I gotta do, turn the goddamn garage overlaid off that's about as dark as we gonna get let me flip the camera around so y'all can see what i see like this is really not that bad like this is just off this little headlight let me turn it off so y'all can see oh by the way the sensor was trash like it just kept going on and off so i just turned the little sensor off so that's off and that's on that's a big difference holy shit here's inside of the car just with this headlight. Yo, I think I might be two for two. <sighs> and there you have it. I ain't gonna lie, these are pretty nice. Like they feel extremely cheap, don't get me wrong, and they probably won't last that long, but it comes with two and it's $10. Now, I also don't know the battery life on this for real. On a box to say 2.5 hours at the highest brightness. Do I believe it? Not really. <laughs> But I feel like as long as you get an hour, you can charge this one up and then just keep switching. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get this. I'm gonna have to get it a four out of five. As long as they last a few months and not just break immediately. This is that last star because if y'all felt these, it feels really cheap. <laughs> All right, next thing on the list and the most expensive thing on the list at $16.96 is this screen endoscope. So what this is, is just a screen and it's a camera on a long ass wire with a light at the end and you can stick it in places to see stuff. Now, the first thing that come to mind when I was buying this was looking inside my engine because right now it's down right now, but I can at least use this to look inside the combustion chamber as long as it works. So let's go ahead and take it out. This is like a little game controller. <laughs> All right, so here it is. All this stuff is in Chinese. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So it's really little, not heavy at all. Oh, that's nice. So you can like form it into a shape. So that's pretty cool if you need to like maneuver it somewhere and it comes with this little charging cable and it's USB-C. Wow, all this cheap stuff is converted to USB-C. That's crazy. Now, let me see if we got some juice. And it do, it came right on. It say welcome. And just like that, it works. And it's extremely low resolution. <laughs> Holy shit. So there's me. Can y'all see me? Yo, this gotta be like 144p or something. But as long as it works, then I can't complain. So I got the spark plugs out the prelude right now because y'all will see in the next video what's going on. But I'm gonna shove this in there and let's have a look inside a couple of the cylinders. All right, so let's take a journey inside of cylinder one right here. And let's see what it looks like. It might get a little awkward because I'm trying to look at the screen too. <laughs> All right, I just have to look in there, but I got it past the head. So now we should be coming up on the piston. And I think that should be right there, right? Why do I see nothing? <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if the camera will focus. There you go. That's the top of the piston of cylinder one. It's a whole bunch of carbon on there. You can see pretty good. I can identify what the letters are, but it's really low resolution, but you can at least see what's going on. It's at least doing its job, but this is exactly what one of these things will be for. Let me take the plastic off. Maybe y'all can see a little bit better. Uh, that didn't help at all. <laughs> Things where you're trying to see, but you don't want to take it apart. You're trying to see what's going on. This is what one of these are perfect for, which is the reason why I ordered it because I'm having issues with my engine and I would love to see what's going on so I can use this. So it's working. It's low resolution, but it's definitely working. All right. So there you have it. There's the endoscope and the rating I'm going to have to give this thing is probably, I'm going to say a four out of five stars. Now I'm rating all this stuff based off the price. 
This stuff may break in a couple weeks and that's fine, but this stuff is really cheap. But that's where I'm also taking away these stars from. The build quality of this feels terrible. If, I feel like if I drop this, it's gonna break. I feel like something with this long wire is gonna happen over time where it's not gonna work anymore. But it did what I wanted it to do, so I gotta give it four out of five. On to the last thing. All right, so this is one of the cases where I had it in my cart and out of nowhere it got discontinued, but I searched on the website and I found another one for about the same price, $12.38, and that is a portable sandblaster gun. <laughs> so right now I feel like I'm three out of four. This one will make this purchase perfect as long as it work okay. I don't have any type of expectations for this. My whole theory was as long as it work a little bit for like small projects then that's fine. First off, if you don't even know what sandblasting is, it's just taking air pressure and some type of mineral or some type of, uh, what do they call it? It's called media. That's like the different material you can use to sandblast. For example, I went to Harbor Freight today and I got this grit blast media. This is ground glass. You can use sand, you can use walnut, you can use different type of things, but I figured that this would be pretty good and it was only like 10 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. I'm gonna use my little Harbor Freight uh, air compressor. Hopefully that's enough. I'm not gonna base my rating based off my air compressor because it's really small, but if I just have to take my time with it and so be it. What I really wanted to do with this thing is take off rust off these old ass cars and sandblasting is perfect for that. I don't know if this was gonna be perfect for that, but it don't hurt to find out. So let's see. All right, so we moving outside. We gonna finish the video outside because this stuff will create a mess. So I'm in my little carport. Uh, that way it's not messing up my garage. But first problem was, it only came with these two fittings. It was this fitting, and I don't remember what I did with the other fitting, but it's the same fitting, but it got like the uh, male in. So I don't know where that went, but I couldn't connect that to my compressor, so I just took one of these extra quick connects I had and screwed it in. It's probably gonna leak because I didn't use any uh, Teflon tape, and then come with Teflon tape. Now when it comes to putting this together, all you're doing is just like basically just snapping it into place. This hole is where the media comes from, and you fill it from the top right here, and you just shoot it out the end like that oh wait a minute this piece that's the nozzle I'm literally just not realizing that and as I try to put it on I cross thread it so <laughs> I had to just get some channel locks and just send it and it finally went on so as I was saying here's the three things I'm gonna try to sandblast so first off my hammer for some reason got a little bit of rust on it right here so I'm gonna try to get that off like just clean this up and then here's a piece from the prelude this is something to do with the coolant uh, a bit of rust right here. I'm gonna just see what happens when I hit this stuff like right here and all that I don't know where the sensor came from. I think it's like from an O02 sensor But this bracket is pretty rusty. It's rusted worse than like the rest of this stuff So so we have various levels of rust. I'm gonna see what this thing could do But first off I need to fill up my little compressor. This is what I'm using by the way I did do a whole review on this little compressor if y'all want to check it out link just click that little link right there All right, so we're working on top of my garbage can just for the simplicity of it I ain't got to move nothing around. My air compressor is filled with air, so now it's time to fill this up with this media. This ground glass. This thing just, this thing screams cheap. <laughs> Alright, so I got to fill it up basically all the way. Um, put the cap back on. It's just coming out the end. Like, like if you tilt it forward, it just comes out the nozzle. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put some glasses on, put a mask on. I don't know if this stuff is safe to be breathing in, so I'm gonna just be safe. I'm gonna connect it to the air compressor. Like that, and turn the air on and see if it's leaking. So it is definitely leaking. But I'm still, it's not that bad though, but it's leaking. I could still try it though, shit. Like when you tilt it forward, it just comes out. Oh shit. Damn, that come out with a lot of force. Hold on now. <laughs> that shit is real messy. I'm gonna try this in right here. Let me get a better camera angle for y'all. I think this knob on the side right here is to prevent it from... Oh shit, no, that didn't do anything. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>
All right, so this compressor definitely cannot keep up with this thing. You're gonna need something way bigger. But it was working when it was working. I gotta give it its credit when credit is due. It did clean all of this up right here, but I just kept dropping air pressure and that's what was stopping me. So I'm definitely not doing all this stuff. This stuff would take forever trying to keep this thing filled up. So once I upgrade compressors, or I might just borrow one of my homies compressors, I'ma update y'all. Follow me on Instagram for updates underscore Steezy Manny. But on the other side though, look at this damn mess that this created. I have not even used that much and this shit is everywhere. Jesus. All right, so I'm back on the selfie stick. I'm gonna end up finishing up this video on the selfie stick. As y'all can tell, this is my favorite thing. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely can't wait to experiment with some camera angles and just messing around with it. But when it comes to this sandblasting thing, I ain't gonna lie, it's okay. Even though my compressor couldn't keep up, the, this thing just feels really like, it feel like a toy, honestly. Like I'm just tilting it around and it's leaking from the uh, top where you feel it at. It's leaking from right here. Even when I turn the knob right here, this is supposed to shut it off. And sometimes it was still like, it's still pouring out. That's where it closed. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get this thing a two out of five, the lowest rating out of them all. But this was the biggest gamble. I would like to see how it worked with a bigger compressor and I will find out soon. So y'all make sure y'all stay in tune. But let me know how y'all like this video. It's definitely a different video. Leave it in the comments below y'all thoughts about it. How about this? In a couple months, I'm gonna do an update video just to see if all this stuff is still working and maybe I may make another order. So let me know if y'all would like to see that in the comments below. Also make sure to like and subscribe. And the next video is gonna be updates on Project Prelude and what happened to its engine. Cause I still don't know yet, I haven't taken it apart. But until then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.